shenanigans. Can you not put put none of this up, man? We just having a conversation. Nigga, just you don't person. control my media team. <laughs> Talk to me, nigga. What you talking about, nigga? Clubhouse shenanigans on deck, nigga. You crazy? Clubhouse shenanigans is in the room, so this is going on YouTube. So, so, Wait, what? Ninja. What's up, Wack? Hold up, Nisha. This nigga be crazy as hell, like You is toxic. Uh, God, what you mean? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to save the man life. Shit ain't for everybody. Oh. It ain't for everybody. Is that, is that saving his life? Yeah, you know, you know, I told that's the first time I've seen this nigga. He's been clout chasing my name for five years. So, you know, but when I, when he started calling me on the phone, one thing I noticed is that every time he called me, he got like four little girls. And, you know, either he putting them to bed or he doing their hair or he making them some lunch. So the nigga's a daddy and his, his concept on what it's supposed to be and what it is going to get him killed. You know what I'm saying? He, he don't, he not grabbing it. Like what what his right is, is wrong. He didn't already, he in a bad spot with his whole neighborhood, right? And then, you know, you over here and you part of this and you part of that and you didn't identify this. And you took the stand here and his mind is, it's okay. And it's not. So it's like, mm -hmm. so at 34 years old, if, and you done been to prison, and you're 34, and why why continue that to try to do something that you're not capable of doing when you got other obligations? Nigga, just go be Snoopy the rapper, and that's cool, and do your daddy thing, because before you get a homie caught up and told on, because in your mind, this is that, and this ain't that, and then get yourself killed, and your, your little babies is is left out here, you know, the nigga be going to uh, the child support hands, like really fighting for custody for his kids, so he really be on his daddy shit. Nigga, pursue that, because this shit right here ain't for you. Everything ain't for everybody. That's crazy, Wack. I, I I think I, I, I'm i a civilian, so yeah, I think that I'm... Right. Yeah, I think I got a different synopsis of it all. Because it seemed like it was like being made to uh, have him snitch on TV. Well, no, on we YouTube. already, we got the paperwork. Hey, this ain't, it's got to work. So this mm. ain't no new shit. It just ain't never been really addressed. You know, he always spitting the narrative about what a motherfucker asked him to do. And, you know, I, I really gave him some grace because... At the beginning, you heard him say, I left and then I came back with the mama. So you left and came back with the mama. So when you come back with the mama, you ain't got to tell the police, nigga, you was there. They don't know who the fuck was there. And then you gave, the, the, you know, a description of where the shooter come from and all this shit. And then all of a sudden, a year later, a month later, you run into the dude in a holding tank and he asked you to take the stand on for him and tell him it was, you know, whatever the fuck, self-defense. Nigga, ain't no self-defense law in the state of California. Especially ain't one with no so nigga with an illegal like, gun. So dude who killed his partner was in the room, was in, a, in the same holding tank with him. And he was, and he didn't do nothing. He ain't do a like, motherfucking I thing. Heard, like I heard the part he said when he was yeah, nigga. But like, bro. I don't give a fuck what it is. Head burnt. Spit on him. Spit. Like, yeah, that's right. how it go. So I'm looking at him, and this is my first time in front of the young man, and I'm looking at him. You know, I see his demeanor. I see the tats and all that, but I'm looking at him. I'm looking in his eyes. I'm, I'm looking at his whole, and this shit ain't for him. I really, you know, like, that was a, that interview, Nishek, I was under pressure about that interview. I had a lot of decisions I had to make, and every decision I made was in his favor. Whack blood and distribute shit. Fuck blood up. I didn't do that. Okay, whack. Let us know what time it is. We gonna fuck him up. I didn't do that. Okay, whack. Let us know when it's over with, and we gonna smoke blood down the street. I didn't do that. What the hell? Yeah. Real shit. They've been looking for him. 
They know he, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm telling the nigga like, bro, this ain't for you. The way you, when you signed up for this shit, you didn't say, okay, I'm gonna be part of this, but y'all gotta change rule 19 and rule four and rule two. It may all be some irrational shit you don't agree with, but nigga, this, this what it is. And if you go against any of that, then nigga, this is the consequence. This nigga got like four kids. Look like the mothers ain't really doing what they supposed to do. Cause every time he call me, I hear his babies. The nigga really shout, you know, doing hair and and, and let's go to bed and, and let me read to you and, and let me make y'all lunch. So I'm telling you, my nigga, won't you preserve yourself for that? Stop trying to figure this shit out. Cause this shit, you done already, you got five strikes already. One more, you might not make it. So what's more important? Trying to figure this shit out and clean up something that you can't clean up or or, or being, you know, uh, around and being a daddy how and a father ago, to your kids. How long ago that happened, what? What? Him allegedly yeah, snitching. See, it, it don't even matter. See, that's it the don't? part y'all don't, man, it don't matter. I don't give a fuck. I uh, broke it down. A nigga could kill ago. 10 niggas. A nigga could kill 10 niggas, a 100 niggas' ass, sell a million keys of dope cocaine, build his projects, and do all that, and, and 28 years later, tell on the nigga, and it don't mean nothing. On a nigga and leave a nigga for dead don't mean nothing. These is those rules. This is what you signed up for. Yeah, that's why I tell the kids and the youth go to the So even if the nigga asked him to help him, nigga, you do not under any circumstances take a motherfucking stand and point no man out and no motherfucking crime and where it's sinner and you don't do it. Even if he asked, I would get niggas to you cannot do that. I I've been asked, and I told my homeboy. Dog, you know the job was dangerous when you took it. He went and did 26 years for a murder he didn't do. You know what I'm saying? Why? I, no, I can't help you with that. My name gonna go on some work. Uh, you got to stand in the gap on that. Get back on the appeal. You knew the job was dangerous when you took it. It's what come with this shit. Mm. You know, people would say, if they're your friends and you're in there for something they did, why wouldn't they come to that? ain't how it go. I mean, you know, I didn't been I'd have been charged with murders and all kind of shit. I didn't do niggas all arrested and they didn't let the niggas go. They didn't let the niggas go and put it on me. And guess what? I got to ride it. I can't get the side eye of niggas and man, what y'all gonna do, nigga? I got to ride it. I got to fight it. I, that's what it is. That's what come with. Do you think with that interview? No, do you think with that interview it put more of the eye on him? The interview gave him a way out. How? He need to go be Snoopy the rapper and the daddy. Leave that street shit out your mouth. So you telling him to put up the Pyru card? We well, can't do that anyway. He know he get caught that he know what they gonna do to him. He gonna have a few niggas fuck with him here and there, but ultimately, nigga, you know, he really need to go on to uh Arizona or something and just be a dad. He, you didn't did too much. And he got that lady, to get Brin- to a that point lady where Brenda. He didn't diss the whole his whole hood. He didn't say fuck his whole hood and diss the whole shit. Ain't no coming back from that. So is that lady?